Hi, my name is Nuralia and my ID number is MDA2211040. My name is Natasha Shahira and my ID number is MDA2211041. Hi, my name is Nuri Darzintino Azmai. My ID number is MDA2211035. Hi, my name is Ruzlinda. My ID number is MDA2211026. So what is elasticity? Elasticity refers to the relative responsiveness of demand or supply curve in relation to any of its determinants. Elasticity measures the responsiveness of one variable to a change in another variable. Elasticity can be compared roughly any the slope of the demand curve using the steepness of the demand or supply curve. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm a presenter one. I want to present about price elasticity city of demand for cupcake and cheesecake okay let's remove okay the table one show demand of cupcake for price and quantity okay let's we see the table um, price of cupcake demand for old is 10 and for new is 70 and the quantity for cupcake demand for old is 60 and for new is 74 and uh, 78 sorry 78 okay let's uh we see the calculation for the price elasticity of demand for cupcake okay uh the price elasticity the uh, elasticity of demand the formula is percentage change in quantity demand divide to percentage change in the price okay that's the formula so uh, we put the data in the formula okay so uh, we must uh, the data is the calculation is 48 minus 60 divide 60 times 10 Divide 70, 17 minus 10, and the answer will get 0 0.29. Let's move uh, to explanation based on elastic curve. Okay, and uh, the price elastic of demand for cupcake is in elastic demand. This is because the price elastic of demand is 0 0.29, which is less than 1. For in elastic demand, the percentage change in quantity demand is sim sim similar than the percentage change in price. In addition, the total re revenue will increase in the price of cake is increased. This is due to the increase in the price of cupcakes which cause of decrease in quantity of cupcakes that are requested. This provides the customer are less responsive to change in the price of cupcake. Okay, based on the diagram above, when the price increase from P0 to P1, the quantity demanded decrease from Q2 0 to Q1 the slope of demand curve is steeper and increase in the price of cupcake by Z P0 P1 because expenses to increase by P0 to P1 a decrease in the quantity demanded because expenditure to decrease by Q0 to Q1 next uh, for my um my opinion, the factor that curves price elastic of demand is the ratio of expenditure to customer income because a small change in price will have a large effect on demand. Okay. Uh, the calculation the price elastic of demand for cheesecake and uh, the formula is same. Uh, so we put the data in formula. So 12, my 12 minus 18 divide 18 times 12 divide 20 minus 12 so the answer will get 0 0.50 the explanation same as the calculation that I had explained just now
the price elastic of demand for cheesecake is in elastic demand. This is because the price elastic elasticity of demand is 0 0.50, which is less than one. For in elastic demand, the percentage change in quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage change in price. In addition, the total revenue will increase if the price of cheesecake is increased. This is due to the increase in the price of cheesecake, which cause a decrease in the quantity of cheesecake that are requested. This provides the customer less responsive to change in the price of cheesecake. Okay. Based on uh, the diagram above, when the price increased from P0 to P1, the quantity demanded decreased from Q0 to Q1. The slope of demand curve is steeper. In increase in the price of cheesecake by P0 to P1 because expenses to increase by P0 to P1. A decrease in the quantity demanded because expenditure to decrease by Q0 to Q1. Next, the factor that causes price elasticity of demanded is the ratio of expenditure to consumer income uh, because a small change in price will have a large impact on demand. So, um, it's uh, similar with uh, elastic for cupcake. So, based on the question, we know that uh, the question is related to the concept of price elasticity of supply. So, we can use the formula as I shown in this slide. Okay. So, in the question, it is already given the value of elastic supply, which is 1.5. So, now, we need to find uh, what is the quantity supply when the price is at 4 ringgit. So, how to calculate it? So, 1.5 equal to x. x is Q1 minus with 1000 and D with 1000 and times with 3 over 4 minus 3 so the value of x which is quantity 1 will be um, 1500 so based on the graph the supply curve will shift to the right because the sales price increases from 3 ringgit to 4 ringgit and the quantity supply will also increase from 1000 unit to 1500 unit so when the price is at 3 ringgit, the quantity supplied will be um, 1,000 unit. And when the price is at 4 ringgit, the quantity supplied will be um, 1,500. So the example of product is fidget spinner. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Today I would like to tell you about uh, income elasticity of demand for t-shirt. Based on the curve, when income increase from 20,000 to 30,000, the quantity of demanded increase to 2,600 to 4,000. The shape of an elastic uh, demand curve is steeper. The formula uh, for income elastic of demand is uh, Q1 minus Q0 divide Q0 times P0 divide P1 times P0. So, uh, the calculation of income elastic of demand t-shirt is uh, 4,000 minus 2,600 divide 2,600 times 20,000 divide 30,000 minus 20,000. So, you get uh, 0 0.54 times 2. The final answer is 1.08. The price demand for the t-shirt uh, is in elastic income elasticity. For example, luxury goods such as uh, luxury watches uh, and sports car. The point is first uh, the necessity of the quantity demanded for a certain goods uh, to a change in the real income of consumer who buy this good. Uh, second, the value of elastic demand is more than one. Third, percentage, percentage uh, change is quantity demanded is greater than percentage change in price. Next, if the price uh, of goods uh, increase, consumer have time to find substitute goods. 
uh, and last it is responsive uh, of demand to, uh, to the change in income. Question 4. Cross elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of the quantity demanded for a particular goods, example goods Y, with respect of the change in the price of another goods, for example goods X. As you can see from the graph, if the coefficient is greater than zero, an increase in the price of a particular goods leads to an increase in quantity demanded for another goods. Price of Starbucks increased from P1 to P2, while quantity demanded for coffee bean also increased from Q1 to Q2. Thus, Starbucks and coffee bean are reviewed as being substitutes. Same goes to butter and margarine, but the quantity demanded increase were bigger because margarine is a perfect substitute for butter. Now we move on. If the coefficient is less than zero, an increase in the price of a particular goods leads to a reduction in quantity demanded for another goods. As you can see, price of Honda BRV increases from P1 to P2, while quantity demanded for petrol reduces from Q1 to Q2. Hence, Honda BRV and petrol are viewed as being complements. Same goes to the price of printer, increases from P1 to P2, while quantity demanded for ink reduced from Q1 to Q2. Hence, printer and ink are viewed as being complements. But the decrease in quantity demanded for ink is bigger, because printer and ink is a perfect complementary goods.